Anthony Wise. I'm the Executive Director of the York Symphony Orchestra now. Actually, probably even before that, but seven or eight, I could probably comprehend what music was. Um, but fourth grade, when I um, got into playing the trombone for the first time here at Red Lion, was when I really kind of grabbed a hold of, of uh, that passion and then moved forward with that. Tony, I noticed a difference. I'm bald and you're gray. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen you. It's great to see you again. Um, you know, I like to have fun in everything that I do, and I think that's something that uh, my teachers here at Red Lion taught me, but also my parents um, and, and grandparents, was to find a job that you really, really like to do that is fun at the same time, so it doesn't seem like it's a job. And so with music being a big part of, of my life and traveling being a big part of my life, I found a way to make those two things part of the job that I was doing. Uh, besides music, travel has really um, shaped my life and I would be remiss without mentioning my dog. Huge, huge part of my life. Um, I. Uh, go on walks uh, uh, in the Rocky Ridge and, and uh, farm areas and just nature areas uh, all the time with my dog. But traveling has been a, a huge part of my life. Um, uh, being on three different continents um, and actually living there, not just being a, a traveler that was there for a week or two, but, but actually being able to live in the different infrastructures um, you know, of three different continents was very, very fun finished my junior year of, of uh, Curtis and I was coming back from the Music Academy of the West in Santa Barbara which was a, a two-month uh, intensive orchestral uh, training program that, that happened um, and so that's another thing that Curtis does is they sort of want you to continue your, your training throughout the summer uh, so I would go to the National Repertory Orchestra in Colorado and then, and then the Music Academy um, the next year and so that was kind of my mindset I'm going to school then I go to this Academy then I go to school in this Academy and I came back and Meet Song Haroz, who is uh, my teacher and the principal trombone of the Philadelphia Orchestra. Um, he's from Tel Aviv, Israel. And he said, uh, I have a question for you. Do you want to go to the Man Music Center? The Israel Philharmonic is there playing a concert tonight. They're in need of a principal trombone player. Uh, they don't have one, and they would like to hear you audition if possible. supported me in doing this was I was fortunate enough to, to audition for the National Youth uh, Orchestra and I think it was my senior year we went up to Carnegie Hall um, and played in, in Carnegie Hall so that was my first Carnegie Hall experience and I, I know that a lot of the community got together and they even put I think a bus trip to get together to, for everyone to go up and sort of see that so I felt very very supported in that so for me it, it's a lot of concerts it's a lot of marching band too um, marching band was was huge a huge role Well, Tony, it's great to see you again. You too. Um, looking a little older, just like me. I know. Uh, welcome to our Hall of Fame class of 2003. Anthony Wise, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Danner. Hello. Good to see you. How are you? Good. Mr. Sievers. Why? <laughs> How are you? Good. 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 Uh, the Leo Club Hall of Fame from being inducted awesome. next week. So awesome! Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate That's right. It. Yeah. We had to go find all the teachers that were young when I was here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. The only three left. <laughs>